guys, Mr. Free Queener coming back to you again. Hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. Now, um, yeah, it's been a while again, but I'm back. Um, and I wanted to just go over the fact that we are in such bullish territory. Obviously, Bitcoin has already hit an all-time high, which was a little over $70,000. Um, Ethereum, uh, I'm not sure, let me see here if it's is actually at an all-time high and really what I wanted to point out mostly is just the just the fact that we could be having a breakout here in just a few days yeah so ethereum is headed towards an all-time high all right it's all-time high previously you know what I'm just gonna go over here um, its previous all-time high was $4,800 so we're not too far off of that about a thousand almost a thousand dollars off from that uh, like I said Bitcoin has already hit its all-time high uh, go ahead and take a look at that now I know a lot of people aren't really concerned about Bitcoin Bitcoin neither am I uh, actually I haven't bought Bitcoin and can't even tell you how long it's been forever uh, but again yeah so we're we're already in uh, some very odd territory because so many things are are very different uh, as compared to what happened e even back here in 2021. Um, we have gold breaking out. We have the stock market is still high. Um, we haven't started. Uh, the Fed hadn't started cutting yet. Um, so yeah, it's it's really and and not that the cutting is gonna cause a breakout or anything but it's just a, a different time uh, something something is very uh, unusual uh, about what's been going on but hey maybe we've entered into new territory because of the ETFs that could be what's going on who knows I mean it could just be a narrative but what I wanted to mainly point out let's go back here and the one coin that really uh, shows up more so this pattern that, that you know from what I'm seeing is a sheep now let me show you what I'm talking about so if we go back to all right if we look at this this pattern right here this is definitely a breakout pattern because look back over here and this is on the this is on the uh, this is all right but look at what happened just before it broke out in 2021 same pattern just a little bit higher and this pattern I think it was about 15 or 20 days uh, before it really started to to go um, we are I think about five days into this let's see this started on the fourth today is the ninth yeah so we're about five days into this so possibly in another 10 days we could be looking at a full-fledged breakout into all-time highs for uh, the altcoins, some of the altcoins at the very least. Of course, many of you watch Blockchain Backer just like I do. And one thing that he did mention was the fact that a lot of coins, the, the best coins to get because of what happened in 2021, the best coins to get were the ones that had the most development, uh, developer activity. Um, and it's it's very true. And, you know, and <laughs> what I found is that um, it just so happened that some of the coins or pretty much most of the coins that I uh, decided to invest in have the have some of the, the highest developer activity um, of course one of them is um, ICP Cardano and um, XRP uh, but I, I think the XRP has dropped off a little bit but even still we're still looking at a uh, hopefully between a 10 to 12 dollar range I'm hoping I'm, I know don't hold me to that but that's what I'm hoping for now looking at this pattern right here because I do I own a little bit of sheep and just looking at the level that it's at right which is higher than its first all-time high which was back here in 2020 uh, no it was 2021 um, I'm expecting this is, and I could be totally wrong, simply because the market is so, this, what we're entering is so uncharted. Uh, I was expecting it to hit maybe around 
um, uh, in this range right here or possibly even higher it just it really depends on the strength of the uh, of the pump that actually happens in this range if we get something like this it's it's gonna go pretty good right it's gonna go uh, maybe it, it may even drop a zero right and looking let's go oh, let's go over here let's take a look at uh, say like ethereum again let's take a look at that again And we go to all yeah so kind of the same thing here back before it really broke out ethereum is a little different i guess because of the the sheer volume that's going on so a lot of selling in here you know as it was before it really try to try to take off but still that pattern is there the pattern is there just like here you see boom boom and then it breaks out um i think we still have quite a ways to go for ethereum but again i don't even have any ethereum to be honest with you uh whoever you know those of you who do the best to you i hope it really gets up there okay so so yeah uh let's just take a look at one more which would be xrp i know a lot of you guys do have um xrp in your portfolio you know a lot of people really kind of left it alone because of the, all the waiting we've had to do but it's also in that bullish trend. Now, 2021 didn't treat us well, right? It didn't reach, even get to the last all time high, but of course we know why that happened. Um, but if, you know, still looking at the trend that was happening right before, and it doesn't show up so much with XRP, but we know there's nothing holding XRP back, so. Um, hopefully we see that 10 to 12 dollar range now just to go over a little bit of news uh, bank of america issues warning over u.s dollar collapse um you know of course we've been hearing about this for years now right um i know 2018 was probably when it when it really got popular for a lot of people to start talking about a dollar collapse but we know now that a lot of different uh, countries are actually moving away from the dollar. Now, there is no, if you really look into it, the coordination with it isn't that great, right? It's not like they have a currency that is even able to comp compete with the dollar right now. It's just a lot of countries uh, basically uh, trading with each other using their own native currencies. Um, so, um, you know, whether this actually has any teeth or not, it, we're, we're going to see, I'm more than sure. I think a lot of times when we obviously see a lot, see this stuff in the news, it's more so to get, uh, get a reaction as opposed to so much, I don't want to say truth, but, uh, it being so much to worry about, you know, immediately now. In the future, could this be a problem? Yeah, of course it could be a problem. But right now, I don't think um, we have to worry about like uh, levels of <laughs> levels of uh, dollar collapse like Zimbabwe had. Right? Uh, is it possible? Of course. Yeah, it's uh, of course it's possible. But with the number of countries still using the dollar, still basing um, you know their their trade. You know in dollars um, I don't think within the next say five even more years we really have a whole lot to worry about but it definitely should be something in the back of your head uh, to con you know considering it right um, but when we cash out you know whenever we sell our, our, our currency right our cryptocurrency we're gonna have to go into dollars now th there are some other options but uh, dollars is going to be the main um, the main thing we're going to be looking at. So uh, again, I don't think it's a huge thing to necessarily worry about right now, but it is some, it is a consideration. Uh, other than that, let's see what else. What other news? You know, obviously uh, Dogecoin is doing its thing too. It's uh, it's been kind of uh, getting up there. Uh, let's see what else we got. 
$200 jackpot, how, how investing in beefy coin turned ordinary folks into millionaires. See, another Sheeb, early Sheeb um, situation. And to be honest with you, I hear about a lot of things, but I'm always really reluctant to get into it because, you know, it's only one out of maybe 100 coins that actually do anything important, right? Um, one, obviously, was Pepe. Uh, now we see this right here. I don't know. I've never heard of this coin before. But, you know, would you really actually get into it? If you if you heard about it early on, would you actually get into it? You know, it's kind of kind of hard to say. Yeah, it's it's uh, if you can maybe throw a thousand dollars somewhere and just forget about it and 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 see what it does. Yeah, but not most most people can't do that. So. So, yeah, I mean, definitely good to keep your eyes open and, and be willing to take a chance. Right. Um, other than that, guys, that's that's all I really had. I just wanted to uh, come back and revisit with you guys and uh, throw a video out there. Um, I really appreciate it. I mean, I appreciate all of you because I, I commented just recently and I, I know that some folks still have me kind of in the back of their heads. And I appreciate that quite a lot. Um, I'm trying to really get involved in this uh, more so again, and we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to do the at least three videos a week. I have another couple channels that I'm going to be making uh, content for as, as well. So uh, yeah, maybe at some point I'll share that as, uh, with you guys. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button, like button, and the bell notification. And uh, Keep your eyes out for another video from me. Until then, take care of yourselves and God bless.